I voted for health care reform for a number of reasons. Uh, the United States now, as you know, is the only country in the industrialized world that doesn't guarantee health care to all people. We have 50 million Americans today who have no health insurance. We have more who are, uh, have high deductibles, high co-payments, are underinsured. And if the Supreme Court invalidates everything that Congress has done, it means you're going to have tens and tens of millions of people out there who have no hope for the future in terms of affordable health care. You're going to go back to the days when insurance companies can say, oh, ma'am, you had breast cancer? Of course we're not going to give you insurance because you have a pre-existing uh, condition. Uh, I work very hard, Mark, on significantly expanding community health centers uh, in Vermont and all over this country. We now have about 110,000 people in the state of Vermont who get their health care through community health centers. Uh, provision that I fought for very hard in the, in the health care bill doubled, doubled the number of people who have access to community health centers from 20 to 40 million people. Now, what is going to happen if we're unable to deliver that? Where are people going to get their primary health care? In Vermont now, we've got about 25,000 people who are getting their dental care through community health centers. If we don't expand that all over the country, it will be increasingly difficult for people to get the dental care that they need. So I happen to believe, as, as you know, and I think most Vermonters know, that the real long-term solution to the health care crisis in this country, the reason and, and, and the need to address the fact that we end up spending almost twice as much per person on health care as do the people of any other nation, and yet we have 45,000 people this year will die because they don't get to a doctor when they should because they don't have insurance. The, at the end of the day, what we have to do, and I certainly hope that in Vermont we're going to lead this country to a Medicare for all single-payer program, which is the only cost-effective way that I know to provide health care to every man, woman, and child in our state. So I, if the Supreme Court invalidates this whole thing, tens of millions of people are going to be in very serious trouble uh, in terms of where they're going to get health care. What's your gut tell you is going to happen? Are they going to throw it out? What's going to happen with the individual mandate? What do you think? I have no idea, and I'm not going to speculate. Uh, all I can tell you is that a Supreme Court, which in 2000 refused to allow the people of Florida to continue the vote count and let Bush become president, a Supreme Court which two years ago decided that corporations are people and gave us this disastrous Citizens United decision which means that billionaires and corporations can put as much money as they want into the political process. If you're asking me, do I personally have a whole lot of faith uh, in this Supreme Court, uh, I don't. But I hope, I do hope, uh, that they do the right thing and not invalidate uh, the health care reform.